area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all who listen to this content, watch this content religiously, or in passing the clip of blowing, talking fast, you just listening slow. So this weekend had a lot of battle rap shit going on. Like I worked, but then I still was able to hear, see, and I'm gonna just take y'all through a little recap, you know, before you stick a fork in me. Take this walk with me, you know. I'm in the, I'm still in the gym getting it in too. But so it started with um, I guess Miss Hustle was supposed to battle in South Carolina. She no showed. I seen the the um, guy who owns the league, and you know, he basically said he paid her, she didn't show up, and then she put out a bunch of tweets saying, I just got my body done and blah blah blah. I don't gotta pay you back. It was wild, like she didn't show up, but whatever the case may be. But the thing is about these small league owners. You have to realize that you are taking a mitigated risk. When you are booking these artists who, you know, got bigger platforms than you, who are supposed to be, it's it's ethical, they're supposed to show up and do what they're contracted to do, but this battle rap shit is almost on some street shit, you know what I'm saying? Like if a nigga feel like they could get away with some shit or they ain't got to provide a service, then they just feel like, fuck it, I, I zoed you, and what? But that was the first thing. Then, you know, D.I. the Handyman, salute to Battle Rap Trap and everything that he's got going on. He had a whole card that went down. He put it out for free on YouTube Live. And I did see him versus XL. Both of them boys was getting busy. But I missed pretty much everything else. My job. Like, this is the reason why I'm retiring. I done told them. Y'all got me for a couple more months. And I'm out the door. So, I miss a lot of that. I'll see them joints when they drop. But I did see some clips online. But overall, uh, it did look like... A pretty dope event uh, he had a line he said it's been a rough road rider and then there was X I was like yo we did it and he man started rapping like that you motherfucker that shit was fire but XL had some crack in there too you know he said I get it cracking in front of your building I'm a gargoyle y'all gotta start respecting XL's pain and you know them balls is fire if I'm remembering off the head bow you're dead so um let's move on let's move on uh, there was a hit list battle league event that went on and I caught this one because it was mad late at night last night But it's West Coast time, but I'm on the East Coast So it gives me that three hours to where I could be off work. I'm at the crib. I got it playing uh, I seen City Towers. He did his thing. You know what I'm saying? But the kid club City Towers was rapping rapping. Oh my god I didn't even know he was nice like that no more. But anyway, I'm gonna get to what y'all want me to get to. So clean paper and quantum physics was supposed to allegedly be on this card, right? I, 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 let me get it right. So clean paper and quantum physics was supposed to be on the card. And it looks like uh, quantum physics was supposed to battle Yak the Ripper. Yak the Ripper's my twin brother, we look alike and shit, that's my man. And clean paper was supposed to battle Geechee Gotti. Huge red flag. When I see quantum and clean on the same Card? I already know somebody fitting to get zoed. I know somebody is fitting to get zoed. I already know that them niggas is not gonna show up. And Yoshi G was hosting the event. Quantum and Yoshi and this. I just knew this is not gonna be given what it was supposed to give. I just knew that. So not only did one QP not show, uh, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them boys said we ain't coming. So they didn't show up. So Geechee Gotti did not battle against Clean Paper. And, you know, the other battle, Yak the Ripper versus Quantum Physics, did not happen. But I must say there was still... I, I'm not mad at that. Because I didn't expect them niggas to show up anyway. When I first seen the card announced, the Clean Paper versus Geechee is good for traffic. It's good to bring notoriety. But I knew the niggas was not gonna be there. If you expected them to be there, you a fool anyway. I had no expectation in my mind of mine. I've been doing this battle rap for a couple years now. I know he not gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? So when I know he not gonna be there, I'm not surprised. But I was entertained. I saw uh, 
the kid, it was a kid named Mello. He was battling against another dude. I don't even know his name. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it is what it is. The, and, um, and the Lakers was losing to the Raptors at the time. Lakers is in the playoffs, playing situation. These are the guys that's going to beat the Nets in four games or five games. They're in the playing. Kyrie just smoked them last night. But, and they got the Nuggets tonight. And they done lost six out of seven. But I'm going to let y'all have that. I know how y'all do. So, um, the kid Mello was battling against um, another dude. And, and he starts taking shots at Geechee on some stand. Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I wrote my name, my phone number, and at the bottom. Sometimes I get right address. It's too sloppy when I jot him. But what's been up, man? How's your daughter? Like, he literally was taking shots at Geechee for uh, Geechee. Um oh, not Harley. Hey, Geechee, why you think we ain't bring you out to the city? Nigga, the blood shot up the after party, nigga. What happened to all that bullshit you said after your event? You said I was fired, nigga, that my rhymes was sick. Nigga, gave me the co-sign on a blog, shout out the CD and everything, it was lit. After the battle, I asked him about a plate. Nigga shook my hand and said, I got you. I'm talking Mike, Jack, Thriller, Moon, walking through my mama house like, oh, this is it. <laughs> and then an on went by. Couple summer madnesses. <laughs> I'm like, shit. DM, I'm like, yo, big bro, what's up with a battle? You know, Kansas nigga ready to take a trip. He responds something quick like, bet, I got you. Or sometimes, he would just open the message and not even respond to Bitch, you must think I'm a simp. <laughs> Walk around like you can't get bagged and tagged like legends. Nigga, you's a trip. Oh. I'm seeing through the lies and the dreams you sold me, motherfucker. You's a trick. <laughs> Smack, wiggle his finger in a bag and you coming faster than a free coat. You not pussy. You's a clit. Nigga, yeah. it's not the battle. Yeah. yeah. Damn, listen up. up. And then he said it in the raps, this ain't no Eminem stand, it was. He basically was like, yo, you my favorite battle rapper. You said you was gonna give me a chance. And then you went to know him in advanced. And I was like, where's my chance? I DM'd you back to back, you ain't have to do all that. And if it was smack, you'd be back action packed. I was like, yo, why is he going to get you like this? Crazy, started getting reaction too. Yo, Gucci Gotti must be stopped. This man must be stopped. Yeah. Nigga, I'm not gonna play with this nigga slap. Look at a damn man. I'm gonna show you what it look like. That nigga had a whole bunch of Geechee boys. Oh. Boris vs. Primo, uh -huh. hoping these niggas will clap for you. How the fuck you gonna make sure I'm good in the hood in Kansas when I see you, you ain't even have a strap on you? Oh. Oh. Nigga, stop fucking lying. You had a burgundy rag. That shit look like you just bought it out the store. <laughs> Boy, you a hoe. Coming up here looking for cheers. I don't answer my DM for bitches unless it's really pussy in there. Oh. Oh. I'm finna let bro do his thing. Next time you want me to help you get a plate, holla at my nigga royalty for them wings, nigga. <laughs> Why he get no showed for a battle? A dude starts spitting freestyle at him. And instead of doing what most top tier MCs would do, is just let it off. Why he went and found that man? No studio and salute to Geechee for the hoodie. I copped it too. I support black business, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it get with me. Don't send me no shit for free. I'll cop it. But uh, he rebuttals the man in the middle of the battle. Smoked him with a couple bars out of nowhere. I was surprised. Uh, but Geechee Gotti must be stopped. This man has battled Math Hoffa, right? Smoke Riggs, Ultimate Madness. I mean, went to Atlanta. The next day, battled another cat out there, smoked him. Was gonna battle 
clean paper last night and he would have had rounds and the niggas got swamped next week. This man must be stopped. I don't know if you have to call the Marines, the National Guard, uh, freaking Ben Simmons on defense, but somebody has to stop this man. This man will battle every week. When I can't even ask him when he started rapping like that. This nigga has a battle every day. He's probably battling somebody right now. This nigga's becoming the new DNA. You know? But he's not like, you know, you know, no, 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 no disrespect, you know what I'm saying? But niggas like Geechee got you. I mean, they like DNA too, but you, you niggas know what I'm saying. But this nigga's battling every fucking day. And he's not even, the shit is, the, the, you know what the crazy shit is? A lot of these niggas start battling a lot. Y'all know niggas. They start using the same material and battle after battle and shit. You start, you see the niggas start piecing the battles together. See, in this battle, he said, and in this battle, he said, and in this battle, niggas start using the same shit over and over because they running out of rhymes, but they don't want to run out of money. Niggas be doing that. Um, they start using shit over and over and over. Now, nigga, I might have heard or seen about a nigga using the line maybe more than once, but not in four or five battles. Or niggas who do that shit all the time. That's a recycled monster. That's Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Power's in the ring. Power's in the ring, motherfucker. Power is in the ring. Captain Planet. Um, but... The, the bright spot out of this event was some kids, man. Salute to Lil Slap in Fury, Montana. Bro, I was vet. When I seen them step up to the microphones, I was like, yo, whose kids is this? And why are these kids up this late at night? That's my first thought, you know what I'm saying? As a father. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking my kids, I, I try to make sure. We make sure they in bed by 9 o'clock, 8.30 on the weekday, 9 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's wild late. These kids is up. And I see them stay. I'm like, yo, who is these kids? I said, man, my expectations wasn't super high. I'm going to be honest with you. So, the Fury Montana kid, he raps. He's got some bars. I'm like, yo, this is cool. Like, this is a, this is... This is pretty dope. I, I like the youth because you're taking the youth out of the street. You know, you're giving them an option. They fans of battle rap, so, you know, it gives them a chance to do things that they like to do. If my child is into something that's con that's constructive and they want to do it and they pursue it, I'm going to only support them. Son, Lil Slap, yo. Lil Slap. <laughs> yo, we had me wilding in my crib. We the best. We run better rap. Uh-huh. If you don't believe me, co work the homie Geechee. <laughs> what do you mean? It ain't no studio. Oh my god! Who is he? Who is he? He's 11. Tell him to go to bed. He needs to go to bed. He needs to go to bed. He needs to go to bed. Do you believe? Yo, you know how many grown men, yo, little slap, if you see this. You know how many grown men in their 30s want me to talk about their battles? Want me to recap? Niggas will actually try to pay me to recap their battles and I say no. You earned it. You earned it. You and this mother, y'all earned this right here. And I want you to know, keep going. Don't you ever let nobody tell you what you can't do, what you won't do, none of that. You make sure that you stay focused in school and you keep that pen moving. Fury Montana too, you know. This, with me, I don't do winners and losers with kids because I, I feel like all kids are winners, you know what I mean? If they working hard, if they elevating, if they being smart, you know, all kids I consider winners. Y'all are winners because to stand in front of all of those people, and they had no chokes. The kids had no chokes. The kids, not the kid. The kids had no chokes. Grown men be going up there can't write for fucking. Oh, oh my, my bad. No cursing in front of the kids. But salute to uh, Hitless Battle League. Uh, salute to the whole West Coast. Me and Geechee got it spoke real quick last night via text, and I let them know I appreciate. I, I love what they're doing out there. Um, keeping battle rap relevant, doing free events for people to see on pay-per-views and things like that. Free pay-per-views is dope. Uh, ruin your day. Had the footage so you know they did their thing. Um, and it was just a good overall look. And it was wild late. I definitely got to see it. But uh, as far as the QP is not showing, 
At this point, how can you even be surprised? You cannot even be surprised. If, your uncle, if you know your uncle steals, or you know your uncle's a crackhead and some shit ends up missing, how can you even be surprised? You cannot. Other than that, salute. Gangster.